Okay. We're back with more Civ 5. Um, and uh, we're going to continue our game as Sweden, so let's let's do that load game. Um, I told you I got almost 2,000 hours in. <laughs> these are all these are all pretty much mostly completed games. Uh, these ones with Isabella, that's on a different map than the one I'm playing. Playing the doing this LP on mostly because I set up a map and I did it and I configured it so that it takes advantage of Spain's natural, you know, ability and all that. So uh, let's get into the auto saves. Auto save twenty. Okay. And let's load up. Load up that. Um, uh, we'll do. We'll keep going and and uh, we'll keep going. And you know, I'll, I'll. I know that first video was rather long, but you know, it kind of. It's kind of a bit of a you know amalgamation of starting this and. You know, telling you my thoughts on the series as a whole. This video, I'm going to try, and I say try, I'm going to try to keep it to 20, maybe 30 turns, and hopefully under 30, 35 minutes. Because, you know, I, I'm trying to keep these videos to, to that 20 to 25 minute mark, maybe 30, 35, if if necessary, but I'm really trying to keep these video, all these videos under 30 minutes when I can help it. <coughs> God, I hope this doesn't take 20 minutes to load. you get into the late game when you got like 20, 50, 10, 12 cities and other stuff. Alright. Oh, another pantheon has gone the, the way of the dude over. Okay, Stockholm's looking good for Temple of Artemis. Helsinki's looking pretty good as well. Um... Okay. Oh, oh yeah. There is one thing that that isn't Civ. Aside, aside from being from some of the diplomacy stuff, I mean, one thing in Civ Five that I hate is that you can't trade maps between civilizations. But, but the other thing that was it. That I believe is part of Civ Four that isn't part of Civ Five is airports, and specifically the fact that if you build an airport in your city in Civ Four, your city was automatically linked to your trade network because of that airport. In this one, they do kind of yeah. when we get when we get to building airports, I'll show you why the way they did airports in this game is a little it's a little stupid. Strength of 
true, but at a strength of 11 as opposed to a strength of 6, it's a much better unit than the, um, than what you start out with. Alright, now what do I want to do here? I could do... Yeah, let's get to wheel, because then I could build roads between my cities, and that would be a big boost early game. Sure, right here. But really, what I need to do is I really need to get rid of the Spanish. Now, I'm not going to partner with you because I'm probably going to destroy you as quickly as possible. As a matter of fact, I should, I should probably see how I am doing. I'm, at, I'm figuring Madrid is somewhere in here. Yep, I was completely right. Kilimanjaro found, Sir Mount Sinai found, Natural Wonder found. Okay, so. So. I don't want your stupid agency. Oh crap, that means they've got writing. Yeah, well. Well, wait, wait a sec. Did, it, did I stumble on writing somehow? they have ready, so I can pretty much forget about getting the Great Library. Damn. That's a pretty powerful wonder to have, especially in early game. And um, in previous versions, the Great Library gave you great artist points, but in this version, they took those away. And rather than, you know, taking them away, rather than, you know, modifying it, they took it away. I mean, you could have just modified the Great Library to generate great, to give you points towards a great writer, instead of just taking out its generation ability to begin with. Whoa. Whoa, Bratislava, you're loaded! <laughs> yeah, Bratislava, you are loaded! <laughs> yeah, alright, I might as well go for ready. Um, I think I'm going to go for piety. I mean, I really can't get the two texts I want because I'm not in the classical area. Because I want to get aesthetics first. And then this policy down here was going to be a huge, huge boost to culture generation. Okay, we've got the Netherlands here. Hmm. Now that I'm getting a better, better look on the map, I am, I'm right, I'm in South America. Uh, and in my version, and in my map, North America is just one big, huge, long continent. It's not separated into a North and a South, and there's no, like, Mexico and Latin America and Panama and all that. It's it's a big, big continent. Okay, Poland's on here as well. And yes, we got Temple of Artemis. 50% introduction of doing range units, so that's going to help us build some archers. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. I made a little bit of a boo-boo. Warrior has a strength of 8, not 6. Okay. Archer has a range strength of... You know, I may have been thinking of the archer when I said that, because archer's strength is 5. Range strength is 7. No. Okay. 
I'm not going to bother with the caravan at this point because my only real training partner would be Madrid here and I'm going to be doing my best to take them out, so... been recording. Okay. Shit. He's got writing too, probably. Well, I'm going to have it in two turns. I'm not an embassy with Isabella because, as I, as I have mentioned previously, I'm going to, probably going to take her out. You know, all the way turn isn't a bad thing, but at times... other sieves I don't know about could be working on it right now. Which is what I said in the previous video is something I hate about this game is there's no notification that wonders are being built. Uh, too many turns in Helsinki. As soon as Stockholm finishes that water mill, I'm, I'm starting a great library. 
Let me just see one thing. Okay. Yeah, I think maybe another. Yeah. I think maybe turn 40 or 50. We'll stop the video then. Get a drink. Hopefully, I'm not blocking the camera. Hopefully, I won't knock it over or anything. Ah. Uh, yeah. Let's go with our orange strawberry banana. This is going to be my drink. I do want to take out Isabella, but on the same token, the extra, that faith and engineer points is probably going to be... Yeah, it's hard to pass that up. I just... Oh, shh, no, yes. Already got two religions already? I can't 
can't say anything because of how wonky the AI is. They can settle wherever they like, but if I settle near them, I get a message. Why are you claiming? Why are you settling near me? But if I tell them not to settle near, near me, what are you doing? Why are you telling? This isn't fair. Come on to the Not much I can do about it right now. I got all oh, my cities are all working on stuff. Oh, wait, hold the phone. Stockholm's gonna be done in four turns. Then I could start it doing spearmen and maybe get enough spearmen that I could take out Barcelona and then move those spearmen over so they take out Madrid. You know, there was so much missing from this this map. And yes, in the first video, you notice it had a it had a version four next to it. That's because there, there there was the first version for for vanilla, and then and then I did a and then I had to make some changes to that first version, so that became version two. Then. Then when Gods and Kings came out, I had to alter that map so it would conform with Gods and Kings. So that was version 3. And now the Brave New World is out, this one is version 4. They're, they're all basically the same map. It's just they've been modified for each version of Civ 5. Okay? Oh, thank God I can find the Pantheon, but what's left? Um, Much to be honest with you. Now, if I was playing with Spain, I would take that culture from shrines. But considering what's available here, my best option at this point is to take God of Craftsmen. What I should do in Stockholm is build a settler so I can take this tile and not have it go to Spain. And then at that point start building the spearmen and all that so that, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's going to be my... That's a fit plan. Yes! Yes! Oh, that is such a huge help! That is huge! Oh, that is huge that I got that. Okay, free tag, two slots for writing. Okay, uh. But this is what I, this is also what I was telling you in 
the other thing. It's before, before Brave New World, this got great, you got great artist points out of, out of this. Here you get nothing out of it. What, what, on um, Fraxis, if you see this, and a patch, and, and, and this is a minor thing that's going to have a huge impact. Great library. Let's say two points to great writers. One, or, or one great writer point. And that's it. And that would make, that would make it, that would make it a much better wonder than it is right now. It's still a fantastic wonder right now, but that would make it, I mean, that would make the great library really, really important. Okay. And since I have that, I think I'm going to go for optics. Yeah, because having embarking is smart. is greater than human. And his arm is very long. Okay. Okay, um Wow, that's four wonders right there. Uh, how long is it going to take to build settlers? Three turns. Okay, let's do that. Okay. And I just want to see how long have I been recording this episode for? About 26 minutes. Okay, so when we hit turn 40, that's going to be the end. And I don't think that's going to take... That's going to be too bad. useful. I mean, horseback riding could have some benefit, but hmm. Uh, looking at my options, I think my best bet is mathematics for catapults. Yeah. Because, yeah, if I want to take out Barcelona and Madrid, I think I should probably have some siege units. And not rely solely on Spearmen. Yeah.